Is the Earth flat? Not surprisingly, I get asked that question all the time. Now, from my perspective, it kind of looks flat. My answer might surprise you, though. Is the Earth flat? No, but it's not exactly round either. It's kind of bigger in the middle, sort of like me. Don't judge. There's three reasons why I think the Earth is not flat. Number one, if it was flat like a Frisbee and spinning, it would go in a straight line. It wouldn't orbit around the sun. Number two, if it was flat and I've flown all the way around it, I would come off to the edge and plummet to my death. I didn't do that. And number three, if it was flat, all the cats would push everything off the edge. And that's probably the most reasonable answer of all. I think the real question is this. The people that live on the moon, do they think it's flat? Hmm. Food for thought. Now you know. I'm Captain Steve. Fly safe. How do pilots navigate their commercial jet to their destination? Go fish. Ha. Well, there are actually highways in the skies, a lot like the highways that you travel on in your car, but, well, a lot different. The highways in the skies are defined by land-based navigation aids that transmit up to the airplane, space-based satellites, GPS that transmit down, and then black box navigation, all this stuff up here that double checks everything that the other two are sending. And then there's the two of us, at every major waypoint, we double check the route to make sure that we're on course. We do so on an old fashioned piece of paper chart. Then we check it against the iPad, back and forth. We're not just up here playing cards, folks. We're actually doing work to get you safely to your destination. Now you know, I'm Captain Steve. Fly safe. So you're walking along some sunny day and you look up in the sky and you see this. What is that? Those white streaks up in the sky. Is it smoke coming from the back of the airplane? Is it condensation? Is it chemicals with which I am seeding the planet? Well, it's not smoke and it's not chemicals and it's not exactly condensation either. It is a little bit. Those are actually small ice particles that are up in the sky and they're created when my hot engine, 850 degrees Celsius, goes through that super cold air at altitude, minus 50 degrees Fahrenheit. It creates condensation. That's where the name con trails come from. It creates minuscule little particles of ice that float in the air like a cloud behind the airplane. It's not smoke and it's definitely not chemicals that I am seeding the planet with so that the government can control your mind. It's neither one of those. Now you know. I'm Captain Steve. Fly safe.